everyone, it's Rachel and today I'm going to do the lunette review. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how I got my lunette. So it came in this box here and it is the model one and I got the uh, Lucia uh, which is the yellow lunette. And then there's some instructions on the side as how to uh, insert it and then some tips and uh, all the info on the back as well. Oops box and then inside it comes with a very small uh, pamphlet which is great um, so it's not wasting a lot of paper and it has all the key information you would need to know about the cup uh, it tells you some information about where it was made and then also um, tips and tricks for how to use it and to remove it as well so that's the package that comes inside this is the actual cup but I'll just show you the bag quickly first so this is the bag that comes with the yellow um, and you get a different color bag depending on what color cup you choose and then the inside of the bag as well. So very, very nice bag. It's got a cute little drawstring as well. Love the bag, very cute. All right, so this is the actual cup. The first thing I'll tell you is that this is one of my favorite cups. I really love uh, the Lunette. Uh, and the main reason is because it's a very nice length cup while still having a nice long stem so you can choose how long you want it, whether you want to chop it off a little bit or leave the full stem there. And it's a really good firmness. So. Those are my, my key things that I really, really love about the cup. There's on the outside, it's hard to see, it says, uh, oops, <laughs> it says lunette. And then on the side it says made in Finland, but I know that's really hard to read in the camera. I don't know if you can read that or not. Um, and then there's nothing on the inside. There's no measuring lines. There's no writing or anything, which is great. It makes it super easy to clean. And then there are um, sort of measuring lines slash grip rings on the outside. So the, the top measuring line here, which is uh, more kind of like a very, very small double rim. It's not like a really prominent double rim, like on the Diva Cup, but a very, very small double rim is for this, this is model one, 13.5 uh, milliliters. And then to the top of the grip rings is five milliliters. So um, the measurements are on the outside of the cup. The capacity to the top of the cup is 25 milliliters. Uh, diameter of the cup is 41 millimeters. The cup length, so from here down to here, is 47 millimeters. And then the total cup length, including the stem, is 72 milliliter, milliliters. Millimeters. I can't possibly do a video without messing up milliliters and millimeters. It's just too classic. So um, the full length is 72 millimeters. So it is a little bit longer, actually, than the Diva Cup when you include the stem, um, but not the actual cup. So lots and lots of stem length if you need to uh, that for ease of removal. But you can also decide to chop it if you choose. Uh, the stem, I'll give you a little bit of a closer look here, is flat and flexible. And then there's also grip rings on the stem, which is super cool. Uh, and it's also stretchy, so you can pull on it. Uh, and then the base of the cup also has some really awesome grip rings here. If you can see those, I know it's really bright out. So yeah, uh, I really like the grip rings on the cup. They're really great. Um, it's super easy to remove, I think, um, in comparison to a cup that didn't have any grip rings or um, is a little slippery, like the Jufu cup, for example. Uh, the holes. So there are four holes all together. You can see maybe one there. And there's one here. Three and oh, that one needs easier. Four. So four uh, holes all together. And they're uh, straight cut holes and they are quite easy to clean. So um, they're a little bit bigger than the Diva Cup holes. And so I find if you just fill the water, or sorry, fill the cup with water, and then put your hand over top and squeeze the cup, the water will come out the holes and then effectively clean your holes. So the water fill squeeze technique, we'll call it, uh, will help you clean the holes on the Lunat very easily. It comes in four different colors. So it comes in yellow, obviously, in uh, orange, which they call coral, and then they have blue, and then they also have purple, which is Lucia. So um, I really wanted the purple one, but it ended up being the easier one to get was the yellow for me at the time. So I ended up getting the yellow, which uh, worked out well because it actually doesn't um, show any stain at all. So um, a lot of color cups are, don't show the stain as much, but I found the yellow was, uh, works quite well for that. Um, oh, sorry. And then it also comes in clear. You can get it in clear if you don't want to get a color. Uh, the price range of the cup varies, so uh, it kind of depends on where you get it. If you get it on Amazon.ca, which I don't really recommend, uh, it varies anywhere from $44 to $200. So very, very bizarre. I would definitely not buy a cup on Amazon for $200. It's just kind of a waste of your money. Uh, they're just way over gouging you for that. Uh, the best place I would say is either directly from the website or you can order from Feminine Warrior. 
Uh, Feminine Wear is located in the UK, but uh, the shipping I don't find is that much more than shipping from like the States or anywhere else. So um, yeah, I would recommend ordering from one of those places and then it should be around $40 Canadian. Uh, and then there may be, well, there'll be shipping on top of that as well. So uh, you should be able to get it for around $50 Canadian, including shipping and um, the actual cup purchase as well. Um, the softness of the cup, like I said, it is a good softness. It's not super soft, but it's also not uh, super firm. So I'll give you a comparison into with a couple cups that are common. So the Diva Cup, you can be the judge. I think the Luna is a little bit softer than the Diva Cup. And that's mainly because it has that really pronounced double rim. Whereas the Luna, it doesn't really, but there's a teeny tiny rim. And then the Super Jenny, which is super, super soft. Um, the Luna is going to be quite a bit firmer than the Super Jenny, for example. So, but you can see the Luna is giving a little bit. So it is, I mean, it's a, it's a nice firmness cup, but it's not super, super soft like the Super Jenny. Okay, so that's the softness. Um, the texture is very, very nice. It's also a very good quality uh, silicone, I would say. Um, it is FDA approved as well as approved in Australia. So um, in Australia, it's TGA or, or their standards there. So um, there's only three cups that they approve in Australia, actually, the Juju Cup, the Diva Cup, and the Lunette. So it uh, is approved in many different countries. So it's very, very safe to use and very good uh, high quality silicone. It does have seams on it. That's the only thing I would say is like, maybe a disadvantage. I don't know if you can see in there. There are tiny seams or you can kind of see the seam around the top um, and then down the sides here. So there's one seam there. Depending on which way you show the cup, you can see the seam here a little bit better. So maybe you can see the seam down there. Anyways, so there are seams. That's the only say, thing that I would say is maybe a disadvantage. It'd be nice if they made the cup all in one, but either way, it is a good quality silicone. So I wouldn't be concerned about that. Um, it does have a longer, they do recommend a longer lifespan than um, companies like the Diva Cup, for example. Um, they don't recommend that you replace it every couple of years, but more or less just whenever you think that it's deteriorating, but it could last upwards of, of 10 years if, if there's uh, no harsh chemicals used or if it's not deteriorating at all. Um, I love this cup. It is a really, really great cup. It's the cup I usually carry around um, before my cycle starting. If I just want something that's easy to insert and I don't have to worry about fiddling around with it, uh, usually just do the C or U fold like this and pop it open and I, I don't have any issues with leaking or anything like that so I really um, like this cup it's also great uh, for doing yoga or if I want to go for a swim um, I'll definitely have this cup versus like a really soft cup uh, just to make sure that it is sealed and good to go so uh, yeah that's my review of the Lunette cup uh, great cup love it uh, so please subscribe to this channel like this video and join our Facebook group Bye, everyone.